Installing the software is fairly easy. I would recommend installing it uh, directly from the CD and not from the second uh, choice uh, from the web. If you install it from the web and choose the wrong driver, it is an operation which cannot be undone. Very important, do not plug in your USB transmitter until after the installation is completed and you reboot your computer. Um, it takes um, less than 5 minutes to install um, the whole thing. A major drawback um, for um, this device is that uh, you don't have enough uh, range of what you expect, probably more than at least 30 feet. Yeah, it actually goes okay for less than that, about 20-25 feet straight line of sight. Installing the drivers, which may take a minute or so, and then OK to the agreement. After the installation, you're gonna get this screen, and um, then it tells you to restart the computer, and that's when you plug in your USB device. Go to display link device and change it from um, uh, extended to mirror. Of course, if you're going to use it in mirror mode. After the installation, the default is extended. On mirror mode, you'll see the same screen on both monitors. By going to display link device, you can check the proper installation of the uh, video transmitter. Go to advanced, and then in this case for Windows XP, the third selection is uh, where your installation took place for the second monitor, the second wireless uh, uh, monitor. Now, if you don't get audio on your audio monitor, or on display, uh, go to the volume icon on your uh, desktop, options, properties, and the uh, sound device should appear there. If it's not there, unplug your USB from the computer and plug it back in. This should restore the, your audio. When you remove the USB transmitter from the computer, the mixer device goes back to its original sound device. When you plug it back in, it changes to USB sound device. If you don't get a steady connection with your display, go to Connected Device icon and select Advanced Settings. There you can change the channel. The default is channel 13. You can change it to channel 14 and 15 and uh, you should get a better and stable connection. Enjoy your Warpia PC to TV transmitter.